Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back for Tetro. What are we doing today, Tetro? What are you doing? We're filming. Walker is back. I've been laying down some miles on my sweet hog. Like a clap, you can't get rid of them. Nope. I'll keep coming back like a boomerang. So what are we doing? We, so I got one of those weird... Uh, Fucking peeling out so much, I got it torqued down all it's funny. Swearing on my videos. Sorry. No, Sorry for swearing. No, you're not. You guys remember me saying that all the time? Yeah, <laughs> I'll do it. So we gotta knock off all the weights because <laughs> because uh we're gonna have to rebalance, right? Like you spun your tire on your bead a little bit. Yeah, because it's got a whole lot of uh, grip when it doesn't have any whole, tread. Got a whole lack of air in it. That too. Shh. How fast were you going before the tire ran out of air? Oh, luckily I was only going like 20. And then I was like, huh, why is my bike going sideways behind me? Can't <laughs> riding. I was like, I'm not peeling out that much. But. So many miles on this motor. On that, on the motor now? Yeah, since you broke it last. Um, probably a couple thousand, more than that. I don't know. I haven't been counting. It's gonna be worn out pretty soon. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to just get a pan head. Cost money. Yeah, they do. Got them tax returns coming, homie. That Biden money, yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Jeez, how long is it going to take you to take that off there, Tetro? Oh, I didn't see you doing it for some reason. Well, you started it, so I grabbed the camera. Problem some is the damn them old fingers. That too. The problem is the damn thing is under a bind in condition because it's under sideways. If somebody butchered it. Because I was going sideways. There we go. Here we go Break the tension. Ease up. This bracket's fine. Yeah? Must be welded on. Yup. Looks like you got some current rubbing condition going on there. Is it still rubbing? Uh, no. Let's see what kind of tire you got here. Dunlop. Got a dunny. And we're going to change it for a cunny. It's done. It is done. So we got the Continental. And then uh, that, that one has actually lasted quite a while for me. And I've, I've really been beating the heck out of it. So, yeah. Um, highly recommended. There you go. Just like a BMX wheel. These things are old and hard and dry. Because I've been old and hard on it. Hey, careful of the rim, dude. That's brand new chrome. If you wanted to done it correctly, you should have done it elsewhere. See how I got a Dunlop tire on now? Yep, so it works. On the Dunlop tire. They're, they're compatible parts. That's right. That's a Harley rim, though. Yep. I saw I saw a high shoulder back there. Yep. I was like, ooh. I love me them high shoulders. That's what you got on the back of this bike. Nope. It's a mid shoulder. It's a halfway high shoulder. Tube. Yeah, my tube was coming out. It's really cool. The There's your problem. There's your lack of air. Yeah. It's airflow. Makes you go faster. That's some separation issues right there. <laughs> I didn't like you no more. Nah. No, when you go like this, you get a tube right there like that. Go like that. It's not good for the tube either. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. We're not going to use that tube anymore. I hear you put a little gorilla snot on there. It's fine. Maybe. I saw a TV out and everything said it was good. Really? Works in everything. Even hair. That's some gorilla walking around saying it's perfect. <laughs> we all know gorillas talk, so. You didn't need that beer, did you? Oh, hey, come on now. Hmm. What? Two doors coming out of there. No, it doesn't. Oh, 
There we go. Put some elbow grease into it. Prove me that you're not a real dead man. <laughs> there we go. Split there, right there. Yeah. Was that the only split so far? Yeah, was that thing glued into this tire? I don't know. You do, you're the one that put it on there. Jeez. You know what? It's probably adhered to it from all the high speed that I've been going. It's melted to the tire on the inside because <laughs> so fast it's so hot. Spokes sticking through right there. Nope. The tube just split. Yeah, just the tube lasted less time than the tire. There's your buddy right there. Wow, what's going on over there? I don't know. You I didn't get him. He got away. All right. There he is over here in the hole. That's oh, fine. He's trying to get through. He's going through. There he is. See? Get the light on there. He's winning. Oh, uh, you got him? Oh, uh, he got squished. Squishied. All just right. by accident. Just by accident? Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Pete is going to be upset. That's right. <laughs> Feel my ass. Careful of that chrome. Jeez, man. What chrome? <laughs> All right. Who wants a swing? $1,500, period, correct. How about the safety device with it? Yep, so you don't drown in the river. Some more guts falling out. Yeah, man, come on, be nice. It feels gutless. How many bearings came out of that thing? Not all of them. At least one left. Do wheels normally have three bearings? The back wheels do. Oh, yeah? I totally didn't... Space my mind. It appears the wheel is still relatively straight. That's good. But it is rusty in there. Yeah, well. Alright. Continental. What year is this? I have no idea. What's the date code on this? How can you do what's where's the date code? It's before date codes were invented. Is it seventies, eighties, or nineties? I don't know. It is new though. Yeah, it is new. <laughs> so we got tread, so that's good. So what's that that you're using right there? Kind of lube. Oh. Try not to get it on the tread. All right, this is what we're using. Multi-purpose lubrication. Corrosion inhibitor. It's a tube type tar, do you know that? Yes, it is. Appears to be uh, a directional one. I saw an arrow on it saying it should go this way. I haven't seen an arrow yet. It's right there. There's one. Which way's your bike go? Forward. What size the chain on? Right side. Yeah. It comes this way. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen, the tip of the hour. And then you just beat the shit out of it with a hammer. Right. Sorry, beat the tar out of it with a hammer. That's how you do it. Oh, you got one little tappy tap? There you go. With your tube. You had one for me? You had one. Where that? What size is this thing? 18. 18? You sure? No, no, I'm not sure. It says 18. Just like it says on this tire, 18. 18. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what it says on the tire. Tube. I never read the tube. I just believe what Tatro tells me. Hey, stop throwing stuff at me. Tubes? New tubes on YouTube's? New tube. New to me and new to the world. Oh, that was not new. Yeah, can we not use it? It's vintage. I do not want a vintage tube. Well, there. I don't care. 
It's got genuine corroded brass on it. Yeah, no, that's awesome. That's a good thing that I want to have on my fucking tire. It matches. It's only got one, two matches. <laughs> yeah, no, I would like one without patches, please, sir. And thank you. This one doesn't have a hole in it, yellow too. Though. Yeah. Well, I'll let you keep mine so that you can uh, you can put patches on it. Save it. All right, let's go find some tubage. This might be one of your quickest videos. No. <laughs> All right, we still got hats for sale, so check them out right there. Where? Right there. Nope, those are gone. Th those are already sold? We sold out? Of those, yeah. Oh. The new ones are behind the clear. Suckers. First gen. And we're in second, third gen. Good job. Well, now I can see the box. Yep. We have a 19. We have a 19. Uh, 18. 418. Is that mine? 450 18. That's a big ass one. We need a skinny guy. You had a big tire back then. There's a 400 450 18. Rubber Valston. This is old shit. Yeah. And this one's probably got a steel stem on it. Yep. So we, yeah, we want the 350, right? 18. There's a 350 400 for a small tire, but you have a big tire back there. You think it's you think it's bigger than the one that I put on that I had on? I think you're a 400 450 tire because it was a 120 width. That's a 400. So you want a rubber or a steel stem? This one's uh, probably newer than this one. I'll take the steel. It's a steel. Because this one's probably old. Yep. See how the label has an O2 on it. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather have it something newer rubber. Like an 03. <laughs> it says 05 in the number. Does that count as an 05? I have no idea. It's a number. It's a number. There's a lot. There's 11 on there too, so. But I think the 2011? <laughs> it's better. Is there a 20? <laughs> hey, it looks, it's, it's not looking bad. There's a 20 right there with yeah. a 5 after it. Yeah. That's 20 and a half. Yep, 20 and a half. So that's like a June, last year. That's like June and last year. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, June last year. So there we go. That's what we're going at. All right, look, oh my God, it looks exactly like the one I already had. So if this one has a blue racing stripe on it. Yeah, it goes faster. It's got a new cover, a little tire remover. There you go. It smells like it's got new vintage rubber there. I like it. You like this one? Yeah. Will this one hold air? <sighs> Only time will tell. 